So on this problem, we're given vertices at 2 comma 3 and 2 comma negative 3. And then we're given it passes to the point 0, 5. Now again, before we even decide what formula we want to use, we want to make sure to determine is it going to be a, a um, hyperbola with a horizontal transverse axis or a vertical. So again, let's just plot the points that we have. So we have vertices at 2, 3 and at 2, negative 3. So remember, ladies and gentlemen, our two vertices have to lie on the same transverse axle. axis. And is that transverse axis horizontal or vertical? Vertical. Vertical, right? So therefore, we know now that we're going to be using our vertical formula, which is y minus k squared minus x minus h squared over a squared divided by b squared equals 1. So now we know all the information we need to figure out. We need to know what a is, we know what the b is, and we need to know what... Uh, um, our center is. Well, our center, remember, is halfway between our two vertices, right? So we can just plot and say A, or 2A, which is the distance um, between your two vertices is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So divide by 2, A equals 3. All right? So now we know what A squared is. And we also can determine our center is at, is at 2 comma 0. Right? That's just my me plotting it and writing everything and looking at that. So let's put in that information right now. So we have y uh, minus 0 minus x minus 2 squared divided by a squared, which is 3, divided by b squared equals 1. So we're almost there, but we're not there yet, right? We still don't have an x and a y and a b. But they did give us the value. They did give us a value of one point that's on this line. So if we can find the value of b at that one point, then that value of b is going to be equal for all the points, correct? Yes. So if we know what this can represent an x and a y, then let's plug that in there. So let's put in 5 in for 0, or 5 in for y, and 0 in for x. Now is this something that we can solve for b? Yeah, it's going to be a little bit of algebra, but we can do it. So we'll have 5 thirds minus negative 2 squared over b squared equals 1. Wouldn't I b squared? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, that's a, so that's 9, right? That's 3 squared. Thank you. So that's 9. Wouldn't the top be squared 2? I don't know. What squared? Here? Yeah, because that's squared, but um, um, down there you don't have a squared. 5 minus 0. Hey, I don't, man, I don't know. So yeah, it's going to be 25. That makes more sense now, actually. Mm -hmm. So here's our equation. We need to solve for b, right? Now we need to figure out our value of b. So we get to go back with some fractions. So we subtract 25 ninths. So going back to your fractions, 1 minus 25 over 9. We rewrite 1 as 9 over 9 minus 25 ninths, right? Which equals a negative 16 over 9. Everybody follow me? Yes. So therefore, now I'm going to have a minus 4 over b squared equals a negative 16 ninths. Now, when now we have a proportion, right? A ratio equal to another ratio, correct? So now we can cross multiply. So therefore, when I cross multiply, I have a negative 16b squared equals a negative 36. Divide by negative 16. And I get, excuse me, I'm space. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. B squared equals 36 over 16. Now you might say, oh, let's reduce that, but hold on, before you reduce it, um, we can just figure out that B squared equals 36 over 16, right? So that's good. We don't need to simplify it. We don't need to reduce it. So let's just leave it as 36 over 16. So now, ladies and gentlemen, do we know what B squared is? Do we know what A squared is? And we do know what the center is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so let's write our equation, right? So now we have Y 
minus our center, which was 0, squared minus x minus 2 squared, all over a squared, which was 9, and then all over b squared, which is 36 over 16, which, yes, I mean, we could divide that into, what, 9 fourths? Or um, 36 over 16, we'll just leave it. I'll just leave it in there, and that equals 1. Right, and we could simplify, you could reduce that down, but I'll just keep it in there so you guys can see where exactly we're going. Yes. So you don't plug in, like, like what you did up there when you plug in 5 and 0 fraction, just leave it out. What am I doing? No, this is your, yay, yeah, yeah, no, no, you don't need to, you don't need to write y squared, or y minus zero. It's just y squared. Y minus zero squared is equal to y squared. It's the same thing. Oh. Uh, right? But that's... What was your question? But uh, what I'm asking is, is that up there you plugged in 5 for y. Why don't you plug it in that? Because now this is the general form for the whole hyperbola. This doesn't represent one point. This represents all the points. Uh, when we plug them in, we are just trying to find it for one point. Okay? Cool? Alright, that's it. Oh, okay.